today's demo is at the request of a subscriber. I will be showing Social Claw's Hot House Chrome Collection, an application video. The first one we have here is Wild Violet. Next is Jade Vine. The center is T Rose. Then we have Blue Poppy and Pink Peony. These samples are over a black no wipe, accents black on. But the samples I will be showing here for the application are over a lighter coordinating color. Wild Violet will be our first one. And I will be doing this particular sample over Le Chat Magical Wings, two coats, and one coat of Accents No Wipe top coat. That is my favorite top coat, but you can certainly use your favorite. Now as far as tools go, your own bare finger or using the finger cot that Angela provides in your kit is all that you really will need. I found that using a silicone tool actually left bare spots and uh, using a sponge, sponge applicator or really anything else just really didn't give me the finish that I was looking for. So. Uh, as you can see here, just using the finger cot and giving that a good rub into the surface is all that you are really going to need. And an added benefit of using your own finger is that that does create static cling, which is really needed for the particles to adhere to that smooth, glassy surface. So be sure that you cover all areas. And give that a good dust off of any excess pigment before you top coat. If there's any extra pigment left on there and you go to top coat, it's just going to make the surface look glittery. Now, normally I would just do a couple of coats of accents and call it a day, but to extend the wear of the chrome, I have found that applying a very thin layer of a hard gel over the surface of the chrome first before I apply the top coat has really extended the wear of these chromes. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm doing a very thin layer and I'm simply floating it over the surface. I don't want to overbrush. Overbrushing can loosen those particles and that will cause them to rise up and suspend in the top coat and make it look glittery. So after that's cured and I apply the no wipe top coat and cure that, you can see the result here out of the lamp. Very mirror and very smooth. Another tip for getting extended wear um, would be to uh, rough up the surface, the perimeter of your nail with a hand file, just the, just the perimeter, just to give the top coat something to stick to. Now Jade Vine is our next Pixie Land. Two coats is the color that I've used here, along with the one coat of accents. Another tip I can provide is, is that experimenting is probably going to help if you're having problems. And what I mean by that is uh, if you have a favorite top coat and you're trying a new pigment and it's just not working, what you might do, and I'm showing here how smooth the surface is when I give that a really good rub. So it is essential that you do that to get the best finish. And you can see how grainy it is there on the left side. But again, experimenting with your top coats as far as cure times can usually clear up any uh, issues as far as uh, getting the pigment to adhere to the surface. And sometimes just changing out the top coat itself, the no wipe can resolve uh, issues as well. So here's that sample out of the lamp. And Blue Poppy is our next one. So again, if you're having issues, 
experiment with your cure times, experiment with your top coats if you have multiple uh, top coats. And uh, that should probably work out any issues that you might have. And our next sample here is Pink Peony. I've done this over Heartthrob, a beautiful neon pink. This is actually one of my favorite colors in the collection. This is just gorgeous over this pink base color. And very glassy, very mirror. And our last one is Tea Rose. This one is over black. And I'm using Fairy Dust here, a very pale pink that's going to change the tone of this particular color. Going to lighten that up a little bit more. So as you can see from the video, I, I don't really have any issues with uh, application as far as uh, any mist or bare spots. It comes out very smooth, very mirror, very glassy. And so what works for me is the combination of the Accents Top Coat, cured 30 seconds and a, a gelish LED lamp, uh, 18G lamp, and using my finger or the finger caught for your application. So here are all the samples. The right colors are the uh, ones over black. The left are under the lighter colors. And again, gorgeous mirror, smooth finishes. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the demonstration. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I'll, as well, I will leave links to all the products that I've used down below. If you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later.